This morning, as we consider our commitment to how we want to be stewards of this community, I'd like for us to begin remembering who we were when we first entered this building. Some of us were born into Unitarian Universalism and were free from childhood to speak our own truth and to question our beliefs. Some of us who have become part of this fellowship got here after a long journey. Maybe a journey physically, if we moved from another part of the country, mentally, if we needed a place where our questions could be answered, emotionally, if we felt wounded by some of our life experiences, or spiritually, if we found we needed a new path for our spiritual journey. Many of us have journeyed far in our hearts and minds to get to this place. Not being born and raised a Unitarian Universalist, I remember how excited I was when I finally found a place where there were people who were gathered in religious community that embraced each person's questions. People who were committed to work for peace and justice and who encouraged each person to live with joy in the present moment. Like so many, I brought to Unitarian Universalism, well, I guess like each one of us, I brought the story of my life, one that held metaphors that had shaped me and my search to find a faith community. And through the story of my, and though the story of my life is different than yours, there's some common metaphors that may be familiar, metaphors that are often shared by those who come to Unitarian Universalism. These metaphors, among others, provide meaning and points of connection that are often intimate and sacred, images that help us understand one another. A common metaphor that is a point of connection for many Unitarian Universalists is our relationship with nature. We talk about the meaning we find in the inner connections of forest ecosystems and the ocean that contains countless individual drops which together create the expanse of ocean. And the metaphor of worshiping under the great blue dome of heaven often on Sunday morning. The last few days, the metaphor of water has been particularly powerful. And as I said, I'm not gonna do the Noah story this morning. But the image of water which flows and moves around obstacles that nourishes the earth, changing and reshaping the earth when it's out of control, this is an important metaphor for many of us. It reminds us of the times in our lives when unexpected crisis or tragedy threatens to sweep us away. And we hold the knowledge that water is essential to our survival and necessary for our nourishment. Certainly light is a powerful image for many of us as we reflect on the concept that each of us holds within us an inner light that we are called to share with others. Connected to that image is the metaphor that this community is a beacon of liberal religion for those who are in search of an open and welcoming faith. Some of the metaphors we bring are more difficult. Perhaps we hold a metaphor of survival that life hasn't been easy and so we may consider ourselves broken. Perhaps we were even told that we are broken or unworthy. Like all our metaphors, whether enriching or oppressive, we come together to examine our stories so that we might find within this community a way to evolve and grow as the meaning of our life experiences are transformed. 
It might be that we come to understand that we are all broken. All broken in some way. Perhaps within this community we might come to understand that we are also vessels. And it's only when we realize that we are broken that we understand that that is the way that the light can flow, can be seen, can shine through the vessel. Sharing the possibility of change can help us realize that our brokenness can become a source of strength by which we learn to shine the unique light that is only ours to bring into the world. In this way, we come to learn to love ourselves and others more deeply. Of course, there are many more metaphors that we bring with us as part of our unique life stories. When we become part of this fellowship community, we become one of the tapestry weavers who create a community story. Our participation, our stories, our stewardship become part of this fellowship's metaphor, its story. We influence the community and it influences us, giving us new ways of perceiving our lives and new metaphors to help us frame our engagement with the world. In this way, each of us can find renewed meaning for our lives. When we share our celebrations and concerns as we do each morning, we are participating in a metaphor that honors our commitment to one another, that affirms that this is a group of people who are part of our lives, that we choose to trust one another with the important events in our lives, the important transitions that we experience. We are touching and being touched by the lives of others who are part of our chosen community. And so it is in a spirit of community that this morning, as is our tradition, we share our celebrations and concerns. Just as we individually have stories and metaphors that bring us into this fellowship, this community has its own story and metaphors. Some of this you already know, but we began as a liberal group that sought a religious option in the Bible Belt of South Carolina. We were small, committed, dedicated. We grew, and our story was that we could build a viable fellowship in the Clemson community. More people came, and our story expanded to include work on social justice issues, getting property, and a building. We grew, and as our members made a commitment to be dedicated stewards to this congregation, the story expanded as we built this new sanctuary, worked on other social justice issues, and hired a professional minister. People came, and our story evolved. There was tension and conflict. There was personal growth and community growth. Babies were born, and our loved ones died. And through all this, we have learned about the challenges and celebrations of community. That is part of the story. Lived and understood in differing ways by different community ministers. The commitment of each person who has been a member or friend of this community has contributed to its story. So as I had been thinking about this for several weeks, I thought, what will be our guiding metaphor now? What might a metaphor say about how we create 
community that is both grounded in this time and one that looks toward the future. The roots and wings we just sang about. As I tried to envision what kind of symbol we might consider, I thought of the image of growth. Certainly, we are a living creation. A tree or a plant or an interwoven community of living things Yet as powerful as that metaphor is, I need a metaphor that is dynamic, one that embodies in a meaningful way the creative, active vision, mission, and long-range plan that have emerged from the work of our board and leadership. So perhaps we might consider a metaphor in which we are moving together toward a shared future. The metaphor of a journey together or being on a caravan together. In this metaphor, we are fully present here, learning and growing today and yet also preparing for the future. That food, water, clothing that were so important to the children. The metaphor includes our engagement, figuring out what we need to do today that will help shape our future journey. At the same time, fully understanding that no matter how brilliant our planning we cannot see clearly all the possibilities that may arise. There's both excitement and uneasiness in this metaphor. Where are we going? How can we prepare? What if we make a wrong decision? Will our fully loaded Swiss army knife take care of all eventualities? The reality is that we can only plan with integrity, plan to make sure we prepare a solid foundation financially, spiritually, emotionally, and practically. We have a strong community that together can build a healthy future even as we enjoy our shared life in this present moment. When this happens, we must move forward in trust to engage with the future which is ever changing, making sure that we are resilient and able to adapt to whatever interesting events that occur. What's that Chinese curse? May you live in interesting times? Each one of us is asked to participate in the preparation, in laying the foundation for today and for our future adventures. The metaphor of journey has been very meaningful to me the last few years. Um, framed as my teacher Neil Douglas Klotz has framed it and he talks about the caravan of creation and this may be an interesting way to look at our own future in this future, we're, in this metaphor, we're not only journeying together, but we're journeying with all of creation. Every living thing since the beginning of life on earth, since before that, is part of that caravan. Imagine before us all that has gone before. The dinosaurs, the ebb and flow of time, human history. We walk in the footsteps of all those who have gone before. So it behooves us to move forward with integrity and vision because we're preparing the way for others even though we can't see clearly what the future holds. Because in this metaphor, the future is behind us. 
So those who will come in the future will step in our footprints, will follow our way. This is a different way of thinking about our hopes and dreams for this community. But it also makes us aware of the importance of the preparation we make and also the hope and trust we place in one another. With every step along the journey, we must hold our vision for this community so that we and those coming after us will have as smooth and peaceful a journey wherever we end up. The journey, the caravan, takes preparation, good stewardship, dedication, and a commitment for the long journey. The board committed itself to look at what it really takes to prepare now for where we're going. This is a new way of thinking about the part that each of us plays as stewards of this community as we steadily move toward, move forward to create a vibrantly di diverse congregation. So to share with us some of that vision for our stewardship plan, I'd like to invite our Chief Financial Officer, Larry Fredendahl, to come forward and say a few words. And he will also, during the luncheon, be answering your questions, if you have any. Thank you, Terry. Uh, my role here really is to uh, thank the Stewardship Committee. And that's the biggest thing I want to do. I see that we have Ed sitting there. I see Andy. Um, don't see the other members of the committee right now. Some are out of town. Some are out of town. OK. And uh, the point is, I just want to throw a little story in as part of the thanks uh, here. So I've been a member here since uh, 1994. And during that time, I've seen part of this tapestry or the threads or the journey that we're on. And last week, there was an interesting little statistic in the Wall Street Journal. It was in an article they had that uh, was about religious tolerance here in the South. And they were particularly looking at tolerance for uh, Muslims um, across the South. And they went across each of the southern states in terms of what was the largest non-Christian religion. And in all the southern states except South Carolina, the largest non-Christian religion is the Muslim, is Islam. And uh, in part, it's been due to immigration, etc., except for South Carolina. And the largest here is the Baha'is. And I thought back to the journey that we as a group over the years I've been involved with UUFC, where we have supported the Baha'is here in the sense of offering our building, uh, offering fellowship, doing group services, et cetera, that we do make a difference. And that is only possible because of year after year of the Stewardship Committee stepping up and doing very, very hard work. So again, I want to thank you. We are, as stewards of the present and the future, laying a strong foundation for who we might become and where we might go. Together, we're preparing for the journey even as we live fully in the present. We are envisioning a future that honors our early years and the hard work of so many. With the foundation they created, we now envision a community for ourselves and future generations. Our journey will take us places we may not yet imagine. Together, generously supporting one another in our fellowship, we journey toward that vision with integrity and hope. Like water, we are flowing. Like a tree, we are grounded. Like the butterfly, we are being transformed. Let us be dedicated to the journey, a journey of love and hope, and let us journey together. <laughs>